Today I'm going to talk about a different kind of coffee maker. Uh, if you remember from my review of the Chemex, I said it was super crisp and I compared it to the French press or sometimes referred to as a Bodum pot. Uh, Bodum's a brand name that makes French presses. So today we're going to talk about the French press. Um, I spent some time at Starbucks and when I was at Starbucks, when we would do a coffee tasting, and this is this was the way in which coffee was made to uh, make sure that you didn't impart any additional flavors and you only got the coffee flavor. It's a really simple design. Uh, coffee is put in here with the hot water, and then there is a screen on a plunger which just separates the coffee grounds from the water. Actually, you press down on it, hence the French press. It separates the coffee from the grounds and you pour your coffee out. It's super simple. This model is um, branded by Starbucks. I got it when I worked there. And um, one thing that I really like about it is that it has um, it's a thermal craft, so it will keep your coffee hot uh, for quite a while, a couple of hours actually. And um, it does a really good job. Now, Unlike the glass French press, which is the more standard style, um, it will likely impart a little bit of metallic flavor. Um, we'll see how it does. I haven't used this in probably a couple months. I don't remember it being particularly metallic. All right, I've got my coffee grounds in. I'm gonna put the um, not quite boiling water in. I think it's about 200 degrees and this is a six cup French press. So fill it up to about there. And set the timer for four minutes. You can see the coffee grounds and the water have mixed there. The whole thing is steeping nicely. Put the top on and walk away. Okay, after four minutes, all you have to do is push down on the plunger. Sometimes this takes uh, a little bit of force, but this is pushing that filter screen down through the coffee and grounds, um, water and grounds, and the coffee has been filtered. So the coffee is nice and hot. I seem to have misplaced my Oh, but actually, look at that. You can really see how much more sediment is in this coffee than in the other forms that we've made. It's going to have a thicker flavor. It's going to kind of squat on your tongue in a way that the Chemex just dances around in your tongue. This is... It's got an earthiness that you definitely don't get with any of the other forms of coffee. Um, as I said, you can see the, the thickness and the lack of clarity in this coffee that you didn't get with the any of the coffees that go through a paper filter um, are going to pull that out pull out some of the stuff i don't know if you can tell or if you can see this in the light or in this image but it's definitely got oils that the others do not have all which combine to give it a distinctive flavor um, it's not necessarily one that i'm always looking for however the um, brewing process is super easy, super convenient, super elegant, and um, it is a, a very good cup of coffee. Um, I think the Chemex, and as we'll see with the AeroPress, I prefer those coffees. I've left the coffee sitting in the thermal craft for about two hours. Sadly, I forgot to close the, um, the top here, so some steam is getting out, but I just wanted to see how warm it was after two hours. It's not super hot, but 128 degrees is fairly, uh, fairly warm. And you know, two hours later, without any threat of burning, that's a pretty good, good feature.